Welcome back to another stellar episode of Curious Kids. I am your host, Clyde Tombaugh. Today we're heading to the outer edges of our solar system to uncover the mystery of Pluto, once known as the ninth planet. Pluto is now called something else. What happened to Pluto? Let's find out. Chapter 1. Pluto's Discovery and Planet Status Pluto was discovered in 1930 by a meet Clyde Tombaugh and was celebrated as the ninth planet in our solar system. It was known for being small, icy and far away from the sun. For decades, it held its place in the lineup of planets. But as scientists learned more about our solar system, they started to question whether Pluto should really be classified as a planet. Let's dive deeper into the story. Chapter 2. The Criteria for Planets to understand why Pluto's status changed, we need to know what makes a planet a planet. According to the International Astronomical Union, a celestial body must meet three criteria. It must orbit the Sun, be spherical in shape, and have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto meets the first two criteria. It orbits the Sun and is roughly spherical, but it doesn't clear its orbit of other objects. Instead, it shares its space with other objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune, filled with icy bodies and dwarf planets. Chapter 3, Reclassifying Pluto. In 2006, the IAU redefined the criteria for a planet, and as a result, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This new category includes celestial bodies that orbit the Sun and are spherical, but haven't cleared their orbital path. This was a big change. Alongside Pluto, other dwarf planets like Eris and Haumea were recognized. Pluto's new status as a dwarf planet helps scientists better understand the diversity of objects in our solar system. Chapter 4. The Importance of Pluto and Dwarf Planets Even though Pluto is no longer classified as a planet, it's still an incredibly important part of our solar system. Studying Pluto and other dwarf planets helps scientists learn about the formation and evolution of our solar system. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons mission gave us amazing close-up images of Pluto, revealing its complex surface and mysterious features. These discoveries show that even small celestial bodies can have big stories to tell. So, what happened to Pluto? It went from being the ninth planet to a dwarf planet, helping us redefine and expand our understanding of the solar system. Pluto may be small, but it plays a big role in the grand story of space. Today we learned about Pluto's discovery, the criteria for being a planet, why Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet, and the importance of studying dwarf planets. Remember in science, learning and adapting our understanding is all part of the journey. And now, for a spacey joke before we go, why did Pluto never finish its music album? Because it couldn't find its place in the charts. Thanks for watching, Curious Kids. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more out of this world adventures. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you next time. Subscribe for more adventures.